Hello and welcome back to Sunshine Teachers Training, where we shine a light on the world of Montessori learning. I'm really glad to have you back with us again. Today, we're setting sail on an exciting journey through Montessori's land and water forms. This engaging geography material takes learning beyond the confines of a textbook, bringing the wonders of our planet right into our hands. First, let's explore what these land and water forms are. They are three-dimensional models that represent various geographical features of our world, like islands, peninsulas, lakes, and bays. By interacting with these models, children can visualize and understand geographical concepts much more easily. I'm excited to share with you a video captured in my classroom during a recent workshop. In this video, you'll see me demonstrating this material to my trainees. I trust you'll find it enjoyable and informative. Aditya, today we're going to be learning about the land and water forms. And I have two land and water forms here I'd like to teach you about, okay? And if you this is a lake, a lake is water surrounded by land on all sides. Would you like to feel it? Aditya, this is an island. An island is land surrounded by water on all sides. Would you like to feel it? This is lake. Can you say lake? Mm. This is island. Can you say island? Island. Can you show me the island? Can you show me the lake? Can you point to the island and say island? Can you, can you point to the lake and say lake? Lake. Can you tell me what this is? Lake. Can you tell me what this is? Island. So today, Aditya, we have learned about two different land and water forms. We have learned lake. Island. On another day, I will teach you some more. Okay? I'm going to show you how we tidy this up. Okay? So we call this a modified three PL, modified three period lesson because we are not doing any isolation. Okay? It's always here beside each other on the mat and we're asking them the questions. Children really, really love this activity and they will come and they will do it over, over, over and over again and explore with it. And it's just very interesting to them. And you must have different kinds of uh, extensions and variations for them. Um, later, after we've done the terminology cards, then you can give them coloring sheets to make their own booklets. They can label it after again they've done the terminology cards. You can let them make their own land and water forms. Okay, so we're going to um, give you a little bit of Play-Doh clay, some blue and brown to make your own lake and island. Okay? So why are these land and water forms so valuable in the Montessori classroom and indeed for any learning environment? Well, firstly, they offer a tangible sensory way for children to grasp abstract geographical concepts. It's one thing to read about a peninsula, but being able to touch and see a miniature version of one, it takes learning to another level altogether. Secondly, these forms instill a sense of wonder and curiosity about the world. They invite children to ask questions, to investigate, and to discover the beautiful diversity of our planet's landscape. Now you might be wondering, this sounds great, but how can I create this experience at home? Well, the beauty of the land and water forms is that you can DIY them. Use modeling clay or Play-Doh to form your land and water forms. For water, you can use blue Play-Doh or even real water in a shallow tray. When teaching this at home, start with one form at a time. Describe the form, let your child explore it, and then introduce the name. You can even find examples of these forms on a world map or in books. Remember, 
The goal is not just to memorize names, but to ignite curiosity about our world. To enhance this experience, incorporate stories or fun facts about places around the world that feature these forms. This will make the learning experience even more engaging and meaningful. I hope this introduction to Montessori's land and water forms has inspired you to bring the world of geography to life for your children or your students. Remember, education is a journey of exploration and every child is a natural born explorer. As we wrap up our journey today, we'd like to thank you for being part of our community here at Sunshine Teachers Training. Your support means the world to us. And don't forget, if you found this video helpful, give us a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more Montessori insights. Also, you can follow us on Instagram for daily tips and a behind the scenes look at Montessori in action. Keep shining and keep exploring. The world is an exciting place and as educators and parents, we have the privilege of guiding our children on this wonderful journey. Remember, every child is a little sun. Until next time, continue to shine on. Thank you for watching Sunshine Teachers Training. Goodbye for now and until we meet again, have a beautiful day.